Okay, so if you plan on taking any college-level math courses, or maybe uh, you are in a college-level math course right now, and I'm talking about uh, courses like college algebra, pre-calculus, and calculus, well, you definitely need to understand this topic right here. Okay, so the big picture topic that uh, we're going to be talking about in this video is sequence and series, sequence and series. Now, this is typically taught or introduced at the Algebra II level in high school, but uh, sometimes they don't teach a sequence and series in a lot of Algebra II courses, but uh, sometimes they do, but you'll definitely see this in pre-calculus. All right, now, what we're trying to do in this specific uh, problem is find the sum of an infinite geometric series, all right? So I know that's kind of, you know, complex sounding, but it's actually not too difficult. All right, so we're trying to find the sum of this infinite geometric series, and I'm gonna show you the solution to this uh, problem, and uh, the actual solution comes from my full pre-calculus course. So if you need help in a sequence and series, or other advanced uh, math topics, check out my uh, pre-calculus course. I'm gonna leave a link to it in the description of this video. And if you think you know the answer to this uh, problem, go ahead and put that into the comment section. Of course, I'm gonna show you the full solution here in just one second. But uh, if you're looking at this, you're like, boy, this is just uh, too complex. I'll never understand this. Well, actually, this is not that difficult. Matter of fact, uh, let's go ahead and get into the solution right now. Here's our first problem. We want to find the sum of n equals 0 to infinity, right? So we're an infinite amount of terms of 1 half to the n uh, uh, power, okay? And the answer is 2. So first things first, we want to say, okay, this is the common ratio. By the way, if you don't know why I'm, what I'm doing and whatnot, you want to go back to the lesson in the previous example set. So here's the common ratio. It's 1 half. I have to ask myself, is the common ratio less than 1? In fact, it is, okay? So I can calculate the sum. So therefore, I can apply this formula, which is pretty uh, straightforward stuff because um, all we need is the first term, okay, and the common ratio. And when you're given a, a geometric, uh, an infinite geometric series just like this, it, just look in, in terms of the format of how it's written, A1, the coefficient right here in front of the power. In this case, you're saying, well, I don't know what number that is. Well, it's just a one, okay? So our first term is one, and then of course our ratio is R, and now we just plug things in in a respective place and very carefully uh, work with these fractions. So here we go. Uh, let's see here, so our first term is one, and now it's gonna be one minus the ratio, which is right down here, one minus one half. So this is one, uh, 1 minus 1 half, or 1 half from 1 is 1 half. Now just be careful with these fractions. Write them out. Don't jump the gun in terms of trying to take too many steps in your head. That's where you make mistakes. So 1 divided by 1 half, that is equal to 2. Again, if you have to review your fractions real fast, do what you got to do, uh, but this should, should all be very fundamental to you. However, what may not be fundamental to you, and the reason why you might be making mistakes is not writing out everything in an organized, structured manner. Okay, so don't get lazy. You know, take your time. I often tell students uh, and people when they study math, what you think is taking you longer, if you do it right the first time, it actually takes you shorter because when you when you make mistakes, guess what? You know, you got to go back and redo the problem. And what's the point of doing math if you're going to do some work and get the wrong answer. You might as well, you know, not do it. That's why you have to be in a good state of mind. Just think to yourself that math is fun and you love math and everything is gonna be just fine. Okay, so I hope this video helped you out. And if that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. Now, if you need additional help in advanced math, check out these courses right here. So these courses, Algebra 2 and College Algebra, these are effectively the same level of mathematics. So whether you take my Algebra 2 or College Algebra uh, course, you're going to get the same material. Now, if you are further along in math and you need to study like advanced trigonometry and other topics, then check out my pre-calculus course. All right, so I'm gonna leave uh, links to all these courses in the description of this video. And with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.